Morning guys, it's a hot one today in LA. We are just going to grab an Uber and we are off to Universal Studios. So excited, it's supposed to be literally a really good tour there. So we'll catch you there. Guys, we're at Universal Studios. Check this out. This place is absolutely massive and we're in about 36 uh, degrees at the moment. Heat is absolutely mental. So hot. So, yep, we're going to check it all out now. Mario Cafe. We're just having a bit of lunch guys, just loaded me a hot dog up with mustard and tomato sauce. So we got that and some smokehouse barbecue Chris and a Coke. Lucy's got the same. Fish and chips, oh my god. Wow, that's the whole of the Harry Potter set. over there Lou. Yeah. We're going for a studio tour guys. I'm just waiting for Lucy. She's having a toilet at the moment. Or restroom, whatever you want to call it. Guys, that's the temperature out here. It's absolutely baking hot. And I mean baking hot. We're on the car. Hey. Studio car. Gene Smart. They've also been where they filmed uh, Superstore, starring America Ferrera. They filmed the entirety of the reboot of Saved by the Bell there. But the big kid on this wall, but there's a prequel series coming, and that's what they're using those for right now. This next to us is what we call a base camp. This is where the dr uh, trailers for hair, makeup, wardrobe, and the dressing rooms to the store. But now if you look over here on your left, you're going to see our bungalows. These are our production bungalows. This is where some of your most high-profile producers have offices. In the old days, they were the portion of the show, A Man on the Inside, starring Ted Danson. That's his newest show coming. We are going to be circling in through our Metropolitan sets. We're going to get a good look at what we call New York Street. This is the longest continuous set we're going to turn on on our back lot. If you look to your left and you look to your right, you'll see how long it is and the winding. Now, this particular street has been home to so many productions. This actually is the most uh, photographed street in the world, or in a back lot. 
It was Chicago for the Blues Brothers when they dropped the Pinto into the street. This is where they dropped it. It was also New York for Captain America, the first Avenger. It was downtown L.A. for Transformers. This is where the big finale scene when the downtown Los Angeles area was blowing up. created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet. Just have them in your hand because we're about to return. Entire, and she did win the voice last year. So the queen reigns supreme. Sorry, following them on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's going to be a, cu a cute multicam sitcom show. Come this set was really complex. They went on one side and hung up German signs. Then they went on the other side and hung up French signs. And that's it. That's all you do. Because we believe anything we see on camera. Uh, but if you don't know those movies, right where we're driving, right romantic date in Paris in The Muppets from 2011. But again, those monster movies. This right over here on your right coming up is called Court of Miracles. And this is where the monster movies were born. Right over here is uh, the courtyard where you see Quasimodo and animated for the first time. Now, when I say Frankenstein, you get a picture of him in your head, right? Bolts in the fore in the neck, zipper stitch across the forehead. Well, here's where I want to give a little credit where credit is due. The very first, the book, Frankenstein, was written by a woman named Mary Shelley.
Uh, just a couple of years ago, Lady Gaga's music video Judas was filmed right in that flash flood. Lady Gaga stood in that flash flood on eight inch heels, which is really talented. I've only ever done it in six inch heels, but I keep practicing. I'll get it on one day. I not know uh, uh, Murder, She Wrote, things like that. But that house over there, kids, I know you'll recognize that. That's the house from Matlock, starring Ben. Matlock, played by Andy Griffith. Okay, so maybe I'm just an old lady when it comes to what I watch on TV. But anyway, let us head up what's known as Wilderness Road. Now, if you look to your left, you'll see trees. And if you look to your right, you'll see trees. And some glass. Well, actually, it never had any glass. There's two reasons for that. One, it would have reflected the lights and the cameras when filming. And two, there are quite a few people in Hollywood who like breathing while they're acting, so they didn't lock them in a glass ball. So they just added it through post-production CGI. We got some Flintstones cars, Dom's Black Dodge Charger, that yellow car that looks like Bumblebee. Well, that's Bumblebee from the movie <clears throat> Bumblebee. Uh, but now, there's a few of you that's come from out of town. You might need some lodging. Well, we have original movie. Now, a lot of people say you can see Mother Bates in the house because they filmed around them in the new ones. But I want to take you to the largest set ever built for a single production. This is the set of Steven Spielberg's hit 2005 movie, War of the Worlds. Take a look. The airplane crash sunset is a perfect example of a set that is all of a sudden. Now this is a real Boeing 747 bought by production. It actually never crashed, it just retired. It was an older plane. You can actually tell it's an older plane because if you look on every single uh, seat, you'll see an ashtray on the armrest. You can also tell it's an older plane because if you look in every row, you'll see leg room. They don't do that on planes anymore. So we bought it for about $60,000, but it cost them $200,000 to bring it here and get it set up all for four minutes of the movie. And a lot of people wonder why the possible notion to bring it to life. This is Jupiter's climate. Over there, look at my A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so alive anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy of a gold rush frontier town lies a sinister secret. No flash photography and put the geographical location right down there is Hollywood, the industry. We are one big collaborative movie making community. Guys, that comes down to one of the all time best of the trip. Honestly, the stuff I couldn't video was like 3D tours where you put the glasses on. Um, oh, God, it was absolutely brilliant. It's so hot, we got to stand behind this, honestly. It's got up to 40 degrees now, and it's so, so hot. Cool down material. You've got to have a beer, honestly, it's that hot out here. It's got up to 41 degrees. A bit of Mario's, guys. I've had a beer, I'm refreshed. Guys. It's Mario World.
So guys, we've stopped off on the way back from Universal, uh, a big chain called Panda, what's it, Panda Chinese. Panda what? Express. Panda Express. So we've got a bowl of chicken and, what well, I mean, bowl of Chinese each, check this out. So I've got noodles with bourbon chicken. I can't remember what the other one is. And Lucy's got, what you got? Noodles and chicken with beans and... Something, and something else we can't remember guys we're just gonna eat it well guys this is LA at night we're just coming back to the Hilton now from the Universal Studios Here we are we've made it guys that has been such a long day guys I've got to tell you the Universal tour was absolutely brilliant I think that's the highlight of our trip absolutely excellent highly recommend it uh, if you're coming out here yourself anyway guys i am shattered we're just going into the hilton now so i'll catch you all tomorrow good night from la